Alright, I'm going to start taking a look at some of the actors from Teen Wolf, which is uh, another show that was popular with uh, especially teenage girls in fairly recent years. And um, start with the leading man, Tyler Posey, who plays Scott. Straight off the bat, he has a very, very uneven jawline, which is strange to me. And, you know, I think if they were going to try and do something and give him an implant to increase the jaw size, I think they'd probably try and do it symmetrically. So they actually mentioned this uneven jawline in the script of the show at some point, so, you know, some people do have grave facial asymmetries. Maybe he's one of them. I don't know. Does seem to have a pretty long neck and Again, not a really defined looking trachea, or Adam's apple. But he was born in 1991, and as such is definitely part of the generation that have been exposed to all of the hormones during their upbringing. Does still seem to have defined brow ridge, the eyes are wide set, the mouth is wide, definitely a male looking dental arch, and, you know, fairly strong though lopsided chin, and on this side it's a pretty strong jaw. Mm. It's a strange picture. Seems to be a tie. Initially I thought that was duct tape, which would be kind of creepier than a tie, but yeah. The body shape is not looking female to me, you know, like we're not seeing really any curves going on at all. You know, chest isn't looking... I can't see any kind of scarring or anything. Though some of them don't have that, so... And, you know, for a shot like this that has likely been edited, they would probably either cover it with makeup or edit it out with Photoshop or something. So, forehead is pretty long. Alright, so here... These shoulders are really wide. Very defined collarbones. Long neck and... You know, the slope here is muscle, not just because of a skeletal shape. Um, his waist does come in here and incline out, but it's not a curve. It's not a female curve. Um, you know, arms looking pretty long. Looks like we've got the wrist to crotch level going on here. Um, shoulders are definitely wider than the hips. Don't look like we really have any a wide Q angle. You know, he's a pretty pretty slight looking guy. Pretty lean overall. And, you know, some guys do have this kind of uh, thinner waist and a slight um, flare out at the hips. But it's not like a female shape. He, I believe, is part Mexican. Maybe his mum was Mexican or half Mexican or something, so he does have a pretty, you know, the, the slighter Mexican kind of look that you see quite often. Him as a younger boy, and you know, even with this brilliant 40s style woman's hair, um, he's still looking like a boy to me in the face. Yeah, these shoulders are very square across and wider than the hips. You know, this is a completely straight body line here. Hmm. Again, wider shoulders than the hips. Looks like he can grow a passable beard. Which not every guy from my generation can even do. <laughs> even the real men, so. Um, yeah, you know, this energy, I'm thinking this energy is looking pretty male. Hmm, again, the shoulders wider than the hips. I'm not entirely sure about the um, look of the pectorals here. It doesn't look like he's very, um, very built here, but, you know, the shape of everything doesn't look really suspect. Again, 
so much wider than the hips. And, you know, you can tell us this is a natural structure, so I don't know how they'd achieve that. Um, with any kind of surgery or something. I do think they would have tried to do something if this was fake. As a little boy, well, he's just got a kind of male demeanour. Kind of the sticking out boy ears. But we've definitely got a male digit ratio here. So this is muscle on the back on the other side of the spine. But the back itself, look how straight that is, look how straight the spine is. Women don't have such a straight back like that. No curve coming out here at the rear region. I have no idea what's going on in this picture, but um, he's bending back and still the back is looking like it has a male line to it, not a female curve. Not seeing anything particularly female about anything here. This looks like a pretty big uh, rib cage. I don't know whose decision it was to wear that, but it's a groundbreaking fashion choice that I will never forget personally. So yeah, in this uh, coveralls onesie kind of thing, you can still see the hips are narrower than the shoulders, and you can see again, though it's blurry, the index finger is shorter than the ring finger, straight legs, Another pretty male looking picture. The wide mouth. Does have a pointed chin here as a youngling. But you know. Overall looking kind of boyish to me. Yeah, he's got a very male energy in the eyes. You know, I was actually I was actually suspecting him before transvestigating him, but after looking at these pictures I'm feeling more convinced that he's male than less convinced. Which is often the opposite with this procedure, but you know, it does have a very male look in the eyes. Some male bodily dimensions. Uh, speaking of that again, the latimus dorsi comes in and then the body line is straight down, like with a male, typical male. They look proper, looks like a, a pretty square, broad shape and fits with the very square straight across the shoulder and uh, collarbones, and the slope is just built up shoulder muscle and back muscle. Looks correct to me. Right, looking like we're having a straight back along here too. With this kind of unedited close-up picture, if this was an FTM, I would expect to see some kind of scarring or something around here. Maybe they have better techniques now or something, but, you know, looking pretty untouched by the knife around here. Strong bone structure all through here, and this, you can tell there's muscle definition, but it's not, like, insane and fake, in my opinion. Fake meaning created by artificial hormones. Again, these shoulders are so broad. Definitely can fit three head widths on these shoulders. This torso and chest, ribcage, everything, it's its very wide, masculine looking, square looking shape here, female looking musculature and overall shape. Eh, throwing the devil horns, but is, uh, you know, the cool kids do this symbol a lot, so it might just be that he's trying to say, you know, rock on, we're cool, or something, I don't know. I'm not a boy. Um, but yeah. It's got pretty male looking hands, the uh, more bulbous kind of knuckles and steadier shape all the way through. That is typical of males. Yeah, even in a totally kind of relaxed picture like this, there's a uh, energy that just doesn't feel relaxed, it feels very projected and alive. Again, I'm feeling pretty surprised, but I'm feeling convinced. So. Another suspicious pose that everyone likes to discuss. But, you know, maybe they're all in on the cult. Maybe he's one of them. Maybe it's just the choice of the shot for photography and for modelling's sake. Still, straight body lines. 
Forearm's looking pretty long. Not sure how tall he is. Hmm, gonna guess something like five foot eight, foot nine. Again, shoulders, pretty long arms, that body. He's not trying to do anything to hide it, he's just letting the arms hang and showing us he's got a male shape going on here. He does have a kind of gentle puppy look to him, but you know, the eyes do have that powerful energy, and uh, maybe he'll look more masculine in a few years. But still, he's got a lot of masculine traits now, so. Um, yeah, just, I mean, look at those shoulders. The broad chest, the shorter legs in proportion to the overall body, which is pretty typical of a male. Yeah, and I will talk about Dylan O'Brien next. Is a uh, tilting the pelvis forward, but still, with a you know, increased area of uh, muscle and flesh and everything that's pushed forward in this region, it's still not as wide as the shoulders. To me, you know, if I'm seeing that much of a that much of a pronounced difference that appears correct for the gender, I'm inclined to believe that it's the right gender. I don't know who that is, but that definitely looks like a girl. So, we've got the sloping brow here, the more male looking neck here, this dusting of something that's between peach fuzz and something else, um, this girl that he's kissing, so, I don't know who that is, but that is not, that is not a male. And he looks kind of more male next to that thing than you might expect if he was also one of those, with the gentle energy. Alright, another candid shot, the top of an Adonis belt, male looking shape. There's just, there's no female hips happening where they shouldn't be. Arms long and hanging, it does have a very male look to him. Straight back, male looking rear. No, there's no female curves, no female hips coming out. Brow ridge. Uh, sharp jaw, wide mouth, normally a pretty smiley person, based on all these pictures, but, um, it's strong facial structure, lopsided but strong, and, you know, there's a kind of overall balance to the face that, though lopsided, I don't think it's really had any work done to it, so, I don't think this is the result of a botched surgery or whatever. Yeah, looking, still looking like a guy, pretty big looking hands. So, as mentioned before, in my generation, I find that the guys don't have quite as big of hands as I remember men having when I was young. I don't think that's because they're all not men, I think that's because of the hormones we've been eating. Some of them aren't men, but some of them just are, you know, affected by hormones in the food and water supply. And I think he's probably one of them. Again, you know, if this was a female hip, you'd be seeing way more going on over here. The legs and rear and everything don't look, don't look female. Pulling the shoulder forward and budging the muscle will make it look more defined, I suppose, compared to the other side where it's kind of more flat. Seeming like a pretty defined trachea in the neck and again the bold bone structure. Every one of these shots, even Hands out of the pockets, hand in, hands in the pockets, we're seeing the broader shoulders, the narrower hips, straight straight legs, long torso, all the male facial traits and head traits we talked about. It's got a kind of like warm, friendly kind of vibe to this person, but still the energy isn't isn't gentle as you'd expect on a girl. Again with the wide mouth. Um, this person does seem to have a lot of shirtless shots, so straight back. Nothing really female going on here. And do you think that's an Adonis belt right there? Yep, these jutting collarbone bits. So yeah, as mentioned, I'm I'm feeling kind of surprised because I was anticipating that he wouldn't be 
actual male, but based on all these bodily dimensions, and then, as always, based on the vibe, the energy, the eyes, I'm gonna say, you know, he's got a male power, and a male energy, and I do think that Tyler Posey is a biological male. And that's that. <laughs>